Hi everyone. It's been a long time since I've had a chance to make a video. I've been wanting to make a video on technologies and web development that I find really useful. So today I'm going to talk about webrecorder.io. So what is it? This is a website that allows you to take screenshots of any website. And I don't mean still images. If you've ever heard of the Wayback Machine, you may know what I'm talking about. The Wayback Machine takes snapshots of websites that can be found with a search engine. The problem I've noticed with this tool is that snapshots sometimes do not look exactly like how the page looks, because it does not always copy all of the code or images. It also does not record every page. On top of that, you cannot choose when it will take the snapshots. As you can see, snapshots are recorded at unpredictable times. WebRecorder.io does a much better job at replicating what your website looked like at the time the snapshot was taken. How do you use it? You'll need to create an account so that you can manage your collections. I trust you guys could figure that part out on your own. Once you're logged in, you can type in the URL here. You can choose your browser or leave it at the current browser you're in. Name your recording session. I usually name it the date followed by a brief reason for the snapshot. Next, create a new collection or choose an existing collection if you've already taken a snapshot of the site in the past. You can make it visible to the public or keep it private. Finally, hit record. This is my friend's website, Midwest Vapor Pro. When you scroll down the page, you can see a few dynamic elements. So we've just recorded this page. In the upper left corner, you'll see a file size so far of the recording. Now we'll record the About Us page. And finally, the Contact Us page. When you're done recording, just click Stop. So here are all our recorded pages. We can add a description or edit any titles. And now you can click through and view all the pages you recorded. and the dynamic content is loading as well. Why would a web developer want to use it? One reason that I find it really useful is if I'm doing work on an existing site for a client. I can use this tool to take a snapshot of a website or pages that I'm working on before I do any work. This way it's easy to look back at exactly what the website looked like before I did any work on it. And there's no way a client can blame you for a stylistic or even to some degree functional bug that existed before you worked on it because you can prove that it already was there. Unfortunately, you cannot record the entire website without clicking through all the pages. So for larger websites, I recommend just recording the pages that you are working on. Another reason you may want to use this tool is to show a client progress on a website without actually giving them the URL to the pages in development. To do this, you'll need to make sure the recording is set to public. Then it's a matter of copying the URL and sending it to them. It's nice to not have to worry about the possibility that a client may be viewing live pages that are in development and may look jumbled at times during the build. So that about covers it. If you know of a similar website that you like, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for hopefully more videos to come.